Nicolas. Hello. You are in Principality of Monaco. Yes. Um, how about your gallery? How about your art? How about, about your objective, your goal, your target? No, Please we, tell we, us. Yes, we feel very good. We are the first time here in Monaco. We enjoy it and uh, we hope we have, will have a successful fair here in Monaco. And about your icons, because wonderful icons. I follow you. You explain to me. Please? Yes. So, go on, tell me about the, the and art and what we, you... We are specialized in old Greek and, and Russian icons. Here, for example, we have uh, an icon of uh, St. George, a Greek icon from the Ionian Islands. It comes from the 17th century. And, uh, we and here? This one? This is a very beautiful Cretan icon of the Martyr of, of uh, St. Artemios. And if you go on, we have, um, I think, maybe one of our most important icons. Yes, this one is wonderful. It's a, a post-Byzantine Cretan icon of the Pantocrator. It's a very, a very classic uh, Greek icon. We are very happy to show it here on the fair. Thank you. And here are religious too. This is red, wonderful red, light red. Yes, this is oh, Italo, The Italo. colors are amazing. Sorry? The colors are amazing. Yes. Now, you, do, you don't understand my Franklish. No, I understand. <laughs> you know, I understand you very well. <laughs> now, I think this, this red is wonderful. So, with the Virgo, it's wonderful. So, I, I listen to you. I listen to you. I listen to you. But the is similar. Can I just add you? I add something. Um, it's my pleasure to cooperate with Nicolas and his brother Andreas. Um, you pointed out the red color on yes. the garments of the Mother of God, and there is always um, a symbolism in the colors and the shapes in um, in the icons because we are speaking about a visual vocabulary. And uh, I would like just to, to, to say that uh, the 8th century uh, monk and later saint, John of Damascus, in order to support the production of icons in the years of the Byzantine iconoclasm, he said that icons are to the illiterate, meaning those who cannot read, what the gospel is to those who can read. Therefore, the icon painters in Greek and in Russian, they are not called painters, but writers. Icon writers, iconographers. And what they write, it has a meaning, it's symbolic. Therefore, Thank you, my dear. Thank you're you. You're very welcome. So in this case, for example, the mother of God, she wears the red color on top and the blue underneath. In Byzantine art, the blue is the... Um, a reflection of the spirit and the red of the blood of her humanity. Of course. And therefore, these two colors they usually go together. Oh, thank you very much. And um, my we learn a lot of things with you. Go on, please. It's a wonderful <laughs> school for me. Thank you. And, um, so, uh, my friend has already told you that this is a Veneto Cretan icon. In Crete, um, actually, excuse me, Crete, uh, the island in the south of Greece, was occupied by the Venice from the end of the 13th century until the 17th century. During these years, there was an intense communication between the Venetians and the Cretans, mm -hmm. and a new kind of icon painting was developed on the island, which is called Veneto Cretan, which combines Byzantine principles and, and um, Western trends. And in this you. case, this is exactly what you see. For example, this white mandal of the Mother of God is not typical of the Byzantine icons. It is instead um, a feature that you have, that you find on the representation of the Italian Madonna. So it's a combination of the two things. Understood. Thank you very much. And what do you want to explain about the others? I follow you, my dear. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Maria Pafiti. Maria, please, I follow you. Tell me what you want to explain about another one. Well, it depends on uh, what you would like to know more. No, 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 no. What so you feel, things. what you want to tell. I follow you. Um, on the other side, there is something, maybe? Yes, there is something. No, okay. Uh, my colleague has already explained to you that there are here Byzantine icons or Byzantine influenced icons like this one, which is one of the masterpieces 
uh, of our exhibition, or this one here. These oh, icons, wonderful. they are deeply rooted into the mm. Byzantine tradition, but then we have the Italian style, or influenced by um, Italy. Then you have the Russian icons on this wall, yes. which are... The angel. Wonderful. So, dear Maria, thank you for these wonderful travels uh, yes. through the centuries, and thank you for your lesson. Thank You're you very, very much. I wish you uh, many successful. Thank you very much. Thank I you hope to, to see you again.